You all might have heard about factorials where we put an exclamation mark in front of a number. Like 4 factorial equals 4 times, 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 24. But do you know that we have other types of factorials as well? And we will explore a few of them with the help of this question. We want to find the value of 9 with a double exclamation mark in front of it, divided by 7 with a hash sign in front of it, then multiplied by an exclamation mark just before the number 5. First, we need to understand what 9 with a double exclamation mark means. This is called a double factorial. And for an odd number like 9, it's the product of all odd numbers from 9 down to 1. So, we multiply 9 times, 7 times, 5 times, 3 times 1. Get rid of this one, as it contributes nothing to the product. Now, just to let you know, in the case of an even number, a double factorial will simply be equal to the product of all even numbers down to 1 like 8. Double factorial equals 8 times 6 times 4 times 2. Next, we look at 7 with a hash sign, called a primorial. This means we multiply all prime numbers up to 7. The primes up to 7 are 2, 3, 5, and 7. So we do 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. Since they are prime numbers, we leave the product as it is. Noise. To simplify this, when we divide 9 double factorial over 7 primorial, we get this. Oh, look, 3, 5, and 7 cancel out, leaving us with 9 over 2. Then finally, we need 5 with an exclamation mark. But it is not in front of 5. Instead, it is placed as a prefix. It's called a subfactorial, which counts how many ways we can arrange five items so none of them are in their original spots. Like, suppose we have three letters A, B, and C, like this. Can you write all the possible ways to arrange these three letters? First, we can write A, B, and C. Then keep A fixed and swap B and C to get A, C, and B. Now. Let's fix B at the beginning. After that, we can arrange the remaining two letters, A and C, in two ways. B, A, and C, and then B, C, and A. Finally, let's fix C at the beginning and arrange the rest. That gives us C and A and B, and finally C, B, and A. So in total, we have six different arrangements of these three letters. This is where factorial comes into the picture. Since we are arranging three different letters, we calculate the total number of arrangements using 3 factorial, which gives us 3 times, 2 times 1, or 6. And that's exactly the number of different arrangements we got. Now in the case of a subfactorial, we count how many ways we can arrange A, B, and C, so that none of them are in their original spots. For that, suppose the initial arrangement is A, B, and C. Now, from these six possible arrangements, remove all the A from the first position, which means this and this will get cancelled out. Now, remove all the B from the second position, which means this and this will get cancelled out. Now, remove all the C from the third position, which means this and this will get cancelled out. So, these four arrangements do not count in case of subfactorial because now none of them are in their original position when compared with this initial arrangement. This is the way to calculate a subfactorial. In case of three subfactorial, write 1 over 0 factorial minus 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial minus 1 over 3 factorial. Now we solve each term. 1 over 0 factorial is 1. 1 over 1 factorial is 1. 1 over 2 factorial is 1 divided by 2. 1 over 3 factorial is 1 divided by 6. 1 minus 1 is 0. Then 1 divided by 2 minus 1 divided by 6 gives us 1 divided by 3. After that, we multiply the answer with 3 factorial, which is 6. So we do 6 times 1 divided by 3, which gives 2. That means the subfactorial of 3 is 2. 
This tells us that there are two ways to arrange three items in such a way that none of them remains in their original place. This kind of arrangement is called a derangement. To calculate five subfactorial, we first calculate one over zero factorial minus one over one factorial and so on till minus one over five factorial. Substitute factorial values to get this. Now, the sum of these fractions turns out to be 11 over 30. Now, multiply this with 5 factorial, or 120, and we get 5 subfactorial as 44. Finally, multiply this 44 with this 9 over 2. This will become 22, and we have 22 times 9, which is 198. So, the value of this weird operation is 198. That was quite an interesting calculation, and definitely not something we see every day. So good.